You know who doesn't get enough credit for being a great promo? Who? Damien Priest. He will now. Bro, this guy is a great, great promo. And not just, like, promos, but, like, anytime you've got a segment where he's got to talk, he's freaking great. Because he sounds like a dude. A grown-ass man. He sounds like a guy who's not... He never, never sounds like he's reading from a script. No. He is a classic... I don't know if he's ever, like, done any acting training, but he is your classic great actor who is merely just reacting to everything. Like you throw him a line and he reacts to it. And, you know, a lot of guys, you throw them a line and then they got to throw you their line, which is not how you do it. You want to react to what you're given. And, God, this guy... And his promo last night, at the beginning of the show, was him and Drew. And, you know, Drew's Drew's gimmick is great. He's the guy that he's always telling the truth, which makes people mad. You know, he's pointing- No, it's not why it makes people mad, Brian. It makes people upset because he's a whiny bastard doing it. But he is, he but he's also telling the truth. his faults. That's a great heel. Well, there's, there, there's a difference, Mike. You see- Oh, here we go. He, yeah. he learn me, Brian. I will. I will. Sure. So what's what's the big point that he made? Okay, the big point Drew makes is, you ever notice that CM Punk will never face me head up? Okay, that is true, but it's also twisting the facts. But it is true. You know, he's like, I left, and then he just showed up. Yeah, well, he did. What do you want to do about it? And then he points out, you know, uh, this this guy is way up there in the box. So I go up to the box, and then he goes to the ring. I should have known. Avoiding this punk, me. This was punk based. I knew it. I knew it. No, it is. Well, of so course it's punk based because Drew McIntyre is the guy who's feuding with Punk. But Drew McIntyre's been doing this for the entire so time before Drew, Punk even came back. Drew keeps talking about all these. He's all he does is tell the truth, and he's he, and people get angry about it. So then old Priest comes out. You know what Priest does? What's he do? Priest does Drew's gimmick on Drew. (laughs) Everything he says is the truth. And it makes Drew so angry. Because he goes, all you do is complain. All you do is complain about your title and losing the title. Well, you know what? I wanted to cash in on Seth Rollins at WrestleMania. Or before WrestleMania. And you and I could add a match for the title at WrestleMania. You're the guy who kept stopping me from cashing in. And then he says, then you're the guy that said, well, why don't you wait until I beat Seth Rollins and then cash in? Well, I did. He notes I did exactly what you told me to do, and now you're complaining about it. So anyway, they're going to have a match at some point. And I don't know what it's going to be. You know, they got that show coming up, that uh, stadium show. Is it uh, uh, the new Clash of the Castle? What are they calling it this time? Uh, I forget what it is. Anyway, I thought that Drew was just going to beat Priest there, but man, Priest is so good, I don't want to be beat. So I guess we'll find out how they do this. Eventually, Drew's winning the title and getting a run. It's patently obvious, but... Damian Priest is his own man. That's the one thing. You know, I'm the leader of the Judgment Day, but I am me. And if you guys want to fool with Carlito, you can. At some point, Damian Priest is going to get turned on by Judgment Day, and he's going to be a huge baby face. And they're already seeming to set him up in this John Wayne sort of role against Drew McIntyre, who would be a perfect leader of a new Judgment Day with those folks, because... I don't think Rhea Ripley would be long for it, even when she comes back. Just a little bit to break her up with Dom, do whatever you have to do there, but she's not going to be long for it. I think that would be perfect for Drew McIntyre, Finn Balor, and JD going forward. Clash of the Castle is an arena show. Glasgow doesn't have a stadium. There we go. Well, there they don't go. play soccer in Glasgow? You know, I, I also, you know who Priest reminds me of? Who? Samoa Joe. I thought you were kidding. No, go ahead. Because Samoa Joe's a guy where... Uh, you know, it'll come out someday, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. But my, my gut tells me that he was never supposed to be the champion. I I firmly believe, 100%, that uh, MJF was going to lose that title to Adam Cole at that show. But Adam Cole got his ankle destroyed, still not back, and they had to put another guy in there. And Samoa Joe got the ball, and my God, he was such a great champion. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying that they weren't going to ever do anything with Priest because he won the briefcase. 
And obviously he was going to cash in at some point. But he's a guy that he cashed in, and he's the champion. And it's been like, I don't know, three, four weeks. I do not want him to lose. He's a great champion. So we shall see. We had a Shayna Baszler, Io Sky, Queen of the Ring match. And uh, Io Sky got the win with the uh, Meteor and the Moonsault. And it was a uh, pretty good match. So she moves on in the tournament. We had a show-long storyline with Priest, Judgment Day, and Carlito. And, of course, Dom wants Carlito in Judgment Day. Priest wants nothing to do with him because Carlito screwed him in Puerto Rico a year ago. They're going back to that storyline. And Carlito is just arguing, listen, you know, Dom's hurt. Rhea's gone. You guys could use another guy. You know, your, your friends trust me. And then he goes... It's clear, it's clear, Damien, you don't trust me. And without skipping a beat, a beat, Damien goes, nope, don't trust you. Carlito says, well, it's too bad you don't trust your boys. Even stubborn minds can be changed, and he leaves. But does he trust Dalton Castle's boys? Chad Gable yelled at Maxine, and then this must have been a live segment because he totally screwed up the matches for later. Did a good job in covering it. He though, announces so Otis versus Bronson, <laughs> and Tazak. Actually, I was like, Odis, I, I, you, you're going to be facing Sami Zayn instead. And then he signs Tozawa against Bronson. I don't want to see them hip swiveling. I wonder if it was taped and he did such a good job covering that they were like, that's kind of funny. Let's leave it in there. But anyway, we had uh, a bunch of other segments. Lillian Garcia was there. She's 57, everybody. She looks incredible. 57. Then we had... Uh, Kofi versus Gunther. This was weird. It started out very weird. As as Kofi viciously attacks him before the bell. Beats him so badly that Gunther can't even stand. And as he's lying in the corner clutching at his knee, the ref rings the bell. I was like, you're a horrible person, referee. You're a horrible person. And then Referee's later, discretion. Gunther makes a big fight from behind comeback. Is the heel. He starts choking Kofi. The ref's like, stop! One, two, three! I'm like, did Kofi pay you? Like, what's going on here? And then finally, Kofi made his comeback, and then it, it got right. And they had a great final couple of minutes. Gunther submitted him. Moves on in the tournament. We had a uh, couple of Lyra promos, which are not her strong point. No. And then there was a punch that Becky gave Liv, which was the worst punch. No. No, it was. So, yeah, it's Can you guys go sold. back and watch it again? She hit her in the back of the net. It, it, look, it was, it was so of, hilariously bad. If she didn't sell her jaw so much, it wouldn't have been that bad. She didn't even, like, rear back and then stomp. She went... Punch her in the neck. <laughs> you get punched in the neck, it doesn't feel good. Bronson Reed and Tozawa... Tozawa got yelled at by Gable, and then Bronson tsunamied him and pinned him. I wish they would have gone longer. This could have been so much fun. There were two matches like that on this show. And then Kaiser did an interview. He wants to take out Sheamus. We had Lyra and Ivy in a Queen of the Ring tournament match. And, uh, or no, I did this last night, too. Zoe. Yes, did. Zoe. I got to I gotta fix my notes here. I haven't edited them yet, so who cares? It was Zoe and Lyra. Lyra Beater. It's one o'clock in the morning somewhere. With the Night Wing. That's what they call it. <laughs> and then my favorite thing in wrestling is a Lyra Valkyria promo. So she says, I'm confident. And then she starts speaking in Gaelic, and the crowd's like, What? Because she has an accent already, so I don't even know if they knew she was speaking Gaelic. I think they just couldn't figure out what she was saying. Well, I don't know. And then she goes, I am Lyra Valkyra. A former NXT Women's Champion. I travel only as the crow flies straight to the top. I was like, can you be managed by Skinner? <laughs> <laughs> if Becky Lynch can get over Lyra, and I like Lyra, but I don't know what her prospects are on the main roster. I'll say this, though. If you want to do some serious student acting, stick her and Ilya Dragunov out there because that was one thing during the main, too, where it was just like, there is a lot of wasted motion when it comes to him 
playing to the crowd in an overdramatic way. They both have that in common. Sami Zayn beat Otis, and it was all a story match. Like, literally, Sami's getting squashed like a jobber. And and then Otis does the worm, and Chad is furious. And, of course, uh, he tells him to go do the Vader bomb, and then uh, he misses. And then Sami hits the kick and pins him. And then Chad gets in the ring, chews out Otis. Sammy ends up running down to make the save. He gives Chad the big suplex into the corner, goes for the kick. Chad heads outside, and Otis, the loyal Otis, goes to help him to the back, and he gets slapped for his troubles, and he's so sad. This freaking Otis turn is going to be monstrous when it happens, and it's going to be great. Bring back Mandy to put with him, too. Becky Lynch and Dakota Kai... Damage control ran in for the DQ. This match kind of sucked a little bit. I mean, yeah. they were on two totally different pages multiple times during this match. And I don't know if their time was cut. They were trying to go real fast to make up for it, and they screwed stuff up. But it was uh, it was not all that good. And then they beat her down. Lyra runs down to make the save. So got some tag matches coming. But why didn't Lyra have that energy for Liv? Like, then Liv comes in and wipes out Becky, and, like, she's still stunned that, like, Liv could do such a thing. Like, what happened to you? Like, as if she hasn't been wrecking shop there for the past couple of weeks. Then we had a four-way, which uh, Judgment Day won over AOP, New Catch Republic, and the Creeds. They're the new number one contenders to the tag titles, and Carlito helped them win, which led to Priest... Basically saying, hey, my guy's got your back. Make sure you take out that Rey Mysterio. Don't let us down, amigo. So Carlito's so happy. He called me amigo. <laughs> what do you think of Dom's mustache, by the way? It's, it's amazing. <laughs> Jey Uso, Ilya Dragunov in a tournament match. It's quite a great match. It's Ilya Dragunov is great. Jay had a real good showing. And uh, as I expected, Jey Uso beat him clean in the middle with the big splash. So, uh, you know, there were there were several matches when I was looking at the, at the graphics. And I thought, okay, I can see uh, Shayna versus Zoe in the tournament. Didn't give us that one. I can see Gunther Ely in the tournament. Didn't give us that one. And uh, the other one is you could look at the brackets and go, Bianca and Jade. They ain't giving us that one. Tiffany's going to win. So, you know, they're they're making you want matches and not giving them to you by the way they did the brackets so that they can give them to you later on down the road on big shows and it'll seem like a big Look, deal. That's one of the things you want a tournament to actually do for you. Yes. And it's a good use. You of shouldn't it. be throwing away great matches in a tournament. You should throw you should have good matches in the tournament. You don't want a bad tournament, but you should have people looking at the graphic going, "Oh my god." Bianca and Jade are in the same, like they could, and, but they don't give it to him. And then the fans are like, oh man. And then you sign it for later. So. Or you have a match that gives people a taste of something that might build to something later. So again, tournaments can be used in a, in a positive way. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.